Road trip. Hey, this is Pete Mernick on the road across the United States, driving all the way from the coast of Maine to the coast of California. And you know what? I just had the most mind-blowing couple of days in Kansas City. Here I come. Let's rewind and see what the heck just happened. The Raphael Hotel is beautiful, and it's right in the Plaza District. Kansas City's just blown me away so far. It's got an incredibly cosmopolitan feel, an incredibly international feel, which I really wasn't expecting. And I had no idea that uh, Kansas City's sister city is Seville, Spain. And there's actually an amazing amount of architecture that they borrowed from that style, and it's just a really beautiful place to walk around, beautiful place to visit. The architecture in Kansas City is amazing. There's so many beautiful homes, beautiful parks, beautiful fountains. And also, one of the greatest places to start is at the Grand Central Railroad Terminal. One of the super fun things that I did was I went to the Boulevard Brewing Company because I'd heard it was a real up-and-coming local business. This is my company named Steinecker in Germany. Uh, this does 150 barrels at a time. Uh, it's a really efficient system. And this is really what helped Boulevard Brewing Company kind of make a leap and go to a different size. That We obviously became more efficient. And we're capable of making a whole lot more beer today than we were uh, a decade ago, for sure. I looked up my old friend Tom. He's a Kansas City native, so I knew that he'd be able to show me a good time. He said there was a beer festival going on out of the edge of town, so we rolled out there. What are you drinking, Tom? This is a barley wine. Barley wine from Charlesville Brewing Company. And what's barley wine? Barley wine is, uh, it's, it's, the grain is barley, so you're on your way to being uh, bourbon. Tom told me his friend Colby Geralt's had a great restaurant called Rise. I've never seen so many James Beard awards in my life. Kansas City is big on barbecue and obviously very famous for it. There's a couple places that people said I had to try. One was Fiorella's down in the Plaza District where I went and had something called Smoked Ends. But then my friend Tom said that Q39 was the new up-and-comer trying to knock Fiorella's off the block, so we know we're going to check that out. No trip to Kansas City is complete without checking out the music scene. It's amazing. There's an old saying that jazz may have been born in New Orleans, but it grew up in Kansas City. The music is sensational. About to head into the manifesto speakeasy. I heard about a place called the Manifesto Speakeasy in the bottom of the Rieger Hotel in downtown Kansas City. It's in an area called the Crossroads District. I went down there and these people are making cocktails right. I went to an amazing club which was filled with 80s and 90s arcade games, two stories of people having a great time listening to funky music. I went to an art show across the street and saw some really impressive art. Just a really, really fun place to go and cruise around. Kansas City is fun. It's an almost diabolical mix of everything I like. Just the right amount of rough and tumble, and just the right amount of elegance and sophistication. And I can't wait to go back. World class.